Hi, this is Jim Storkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Model Shipwrights. And we've got for you a review, or eh, not a review per se, but a, a close-up look at the new uh, Tetra Model Works uh, photo etch detail set for the 1 350th scale USS DDG-82 Lassen. Um, this is their kit number SE35001. And I believe Tetra is a fairly new company. Um, they have been... Uh, Putting out some other things, for instance, like uh, they did a detail set for the, um, I believe it was the Meng uh, T90. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been it might have been someone else's T90, but if not, it was the Meng T90. So uh, this one is a um, has a nice little flap here to open it, which is nice, so you don't have to. You can reseal it later. I'll go ahead and quickly take a look at it. This doesn't have to be a very long video or overly complex. I'm just going to give you kind of a a look at it like if you were able to do this in the store, which you can't always do, obviously, or online, certainly. Uh, the the actual directions are seem to be very detailed. They list out. Um, let's start. Make sure I'm starting the right page here. Um, they list out various uh, information here on the top. Um, <laughs> this is a trumpeter kit, I guess, for the trumpeter kit of the Arleigh Burke class, and they show uh, locations for everything B, B12, A56, and so forth, and point to various points at which the photo etch goes on. Uh, there is a lot of it, and as you will see when I look at the sheets, um, boy, there's just a massive amount of photo etch here. So this is what I would call a kind of a super detail set. But again, and I, I like the way they've illustrated all this stuff out. They've even broken down some parts probably by using maybe the instructions and showing replacement parts and so forth. But uh, it looks like they've done a good job there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual photo etch. Again, here's a small Make sure I don't damage anything here. Uh, a small bag with a chain and a, uh, some kind of long metal pin. And my camera does not want to cooperate. There we go. Uh, is, that, is that a, it looks like it might even be a gun, a metal gun. Uh, so the last one probably would have had a large uh, single firing cannon right on the front. Take a look at the front. Yes, so that's probably this cannon right here, the main gun cannon. And then um, here's the actual different photo etch sheets. Again, I'm not sure I'll take these out. Maybe we can get them up close and just look at them through the plastic, through the Here's the uh, sleeve. Here's some of the details. So here you can see uh, clearly indicated by Tetra and, the, and for the Lassen. And we've got these railings and or ladders, whatever those are, and uh, additional uh, lots of little detail. I'm not even going to speculate. Some of these are obviously various, various specific areas of the ship cranes and other detailed bits. You can see uh, a lot of detail in here. In fact, let's see if we can get in close on that because that looks like it might have some interesting... Eh, no, not, I was expecting a texture, but that, that piece, the round piece there, has a nice texturing around it. And uh, yeah, just a lot, a lot of detail. There's another piece that's a gantry way or something that has some nice detail. Um, yeah, just, just again, what you kind of expect these days with the there's one of the, the helicopter uh, blades. Um, wow, yeah, just a lot of nice texture. Wow, that's impressive too. That was pulled down and create some something interesting. Um, but so this is this one, and uh, those are guns, obviously anti-aircraft guns or 50 cal's. Wow, those are nice. Um, and then we go to the second piece here. I will put photos, uh, some photos uh, at the end of this review, of this, this video, as well as attached to the article itself. So if you're wanting to see more detail in a photo form, you can either watch it in the video at the end here or uh, tune in and look at the, uh, or look down at the photos in the article. So, but this will give me, this is your, your live live play-by-play -play, uh, call out here. So various life rafts, I think, here, or uh, doors. Um, not sure this could be weather doors or they look like life rafts to me but they probably are listen considering that one's got like a hole in it I'm guessing that's probably a door so lots of lots of them though and then some more railing various definitely contoured railing and so forth to go around sections and uh, wow lots lots of lots of little bits these are all like grating probably like various uh, different grating openings and stuff. I guess life rafts would be a lot bigger, wouldn't they? Doors makes more sense and windows and things. So yeah, lots of railing. Oh, losing it. 
So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and let's let's take a look at some of the photos, the close-up photos, and then we'll come back and conclude. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them below. And you can also remember you can like this video, whether you're on uh, YouTube or on uh, our websites. And if you are on YouTube, please keep in mind that uh, we do have websites that have lots of stuff on them, more than just our videos. We cover news, we cover reviews, features, and all sorts of stuff uh, beyond what you just uh, see in terms of these videos. So thanks again, and have a good one.